Hi everyone. Welcome to week six of Inversions for Beginners. I hope that you're enjoying this practice and that you're beginning to fly a little bit, maybe even move away from the wall and feel a little more brave, hopefully. I know it's a practice though. Inversions can be really challenging and that's why I'm doing once a week videos to give you a whole week to practice that week's pose. So here are three more ways that you can play with your inversions today. Practice these over the next week. Send me a note, let me know which ones you like, which ones you find challenging. But most of all, I hope that you have fun. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. For our friends who are practicing inversions against a wall, slowly come upright, checking in with the wall, and then once you get inverted, rest your feet against the wall maybe even taking the feet wide to see how that balance feels. Maybe even trying a different hand position, palms down towards the mat or flipped up towards the ceiling. And then maybe working on balancing away from the wall a bit and slowly piking the feet down towards the floor. From a wide leg forward fold, bring your hands to the mat. Walk the fingertips back so they line up with the toes and then bring the head to the ground. Rolling up onto the tippy toes and then flying the feet up towards the ceiling. Notice how the hips are stacked over the shoulders, which easily allows me to take the feet up towards the ceiling and then reversing that process by coming down just as slowly as I went up. This takes a lot of control to do slowly. To come into a headstand from downward facing dog, slowly bend the elbows and bring them down to the mat. Interlace the fingers and then place the head and begin to walk the toes up. Using your preferred method, to find your balance. I like to try to hold this balance for at least five breaths. Changing the leg positions, finding balance on the other side, and then when you are done, come down and rest.